Hey guys, it's your girl Roxy Rose and I just did the COVID test. Um, I had to do it two days prior to surgery. Uh, this is my second time doing COVID tests. If you remember the first time I was crying. This time it was super fast, but my nose feels like it's bleeding. Wow. And this time she's like, did you do this before? I said one time. And then she's seen, I guess I get tense. And she's like, oh, just relax, relax, relax. And she counted and whoo feel a stinging in my nose ran I think the second time's better than the first honestly but maybe because I'm not freaking out but it is snowy I'm waiting for hubby to pick me up we thought it would take like 20 minutes and it took like five Yeah, and that's the update for today, basically. Hey guys, I made it. I just have to take my urine sample now. And yeah, just wanted to update you. Surgery day. Hey guys, it's the next day after surgery. My throat hurts because of the breathing tube. Um, this is right now the only pain I'm feeling. I'm feeling very tired and when I get up to move, I feel some pain. I only have two sutures in my stomach. Mm, yeah, and, uh, today was the first time I ate since Wednesday at midnight. I felt too nauseous yesterday to drink anything or eat anything. They gave me a little bit of apple juice after and I couldn't finish it. I felt like I was going to throw up. And yeah, just going to the bathroom. It takes a bit longer for me to sit and I can't really bend down for anything. I'm going to go back to bed because I still feel groggy from my medication. When I was finished my surgery, they were saying that someone next to me was having seizures because they went into anaphylactic shock for someone nearby. He was a young black boy. It looked like for his finger, so I don't know what happened. It's sad. Hope he's okay. So I will keep you updated. <sighs> During the process, let me see if I can show you. So, I'm under my pillow. These are the sutures near my belly button. And I still have on my, for my anesthesia. And the bracelet's gone. the surgery my throat is still hurting on the outside and inside from the breathing tube I can eat better now I had some soup and stuff but I can definitely eat better today they said I didn't eat since Wednesday night and now my stomach my stomach is a bit red I'm going back to bed. I 
take my medication. Tylenol I had to take every six hours and two anti-inflammatories. Hey guys, it's day three and I was not feeling good. I needed to try to come outside and get air. Um, but yeah, I feel you're very groggy and I am just getting stuff to get some iron in me because I feel really weak and I don't know if my iron is low and I'm feeling like some pulling on my stomach when I was at home so it's weird but yeah I came outside to get some air uh, and then hopefully can go back in soon uh, Tomorrow's day four, so I will remove the bandages tomorrow off my stomach. Yeah, tomorrow I will remove the bandages off my stomach. And yeah, that is basically the update for day four or whatever it is, day three. And I feel okay to move around a little bit, but I still need help bending down and they said I can't pick things up and yeah. So if I look tired, I really am feeling tired. I don't know why my head feels so groggy. I didn't take medication today because I was thinking it's the medication that's making me feel this way. Oh my god, so I'm gonna ask him to get another coconut water. See if I feel better. I am bleeding again and I am constipated.